And it, it has to. No, I'm joined on this broadcast right now from Germany, live and exclusive by Ramesh Chellathorai, ground operations engineer at the Europe Space Operations Center ESOC. He's joining us from Darmstadt in Germany. Uh, Ramesh, thank you very much for joining us. Really appreciate your time sitting where you are at the European Space Operations Center. What do you make of what India and ISRO have just pulled off this evening on the surface of the moon? Thank you for having me. It has been a pleasure to work with ISRO and uh, colleagues from ISRO uh, since the last two and a half years, more than two and a half years. And uh, I'm very, very happy and glad that we were able to make this as a success. And uh, it's not only from me personally, but I have a whole bunch of team members who are from different parts of Europe, uh, Norway, uh, Sweden, um, France, Italy, Germany, Spain. So all these people have worked together in getting uh, to this point. And we were very, very happy and relieved that the ending was a successful one. And I take this opportunity to thank all the ISRO colleagues uh, with whom we have been working for so long. And I wish them the very, very best and to uh, India as well. You know, where does this go in terms of collaboration between ESOC, between ISRO, NASA, the Germans, the, the Germans, the Israelis, the Japanese, in coming together and trying to do as a collective, as humankind, more than what we could have done as nations? Yes, uh, it's a very good question. I mean, we do have geopolitical situations uh, happening every now and then, which we cannot avoid. So, however, as engineers, we are given a task uh, to take up, say, okay, we need to launch this satellite with this agency. And we are uh, complete in doing uh, or getting our uh, tasks done on time. Now, for any, uh, any application which are nationally restricted, or in other words, if we are talking about a satellite application which is valid for only one country it could be either india or spain or germany france then most of the things are accounted for and the national space agency will take care of those requirements uh, and meeting them but if we are about to talk about external uh, objects like moon or go into the dark universe observe other planets and so on in my personal opinion uh, very strong collaboration between the space agencies could be put in place. And of course, because of the geopolitical uh, reasons, uh, this collaborations could change now and then, again, which we cannot avoid. But given the scope, I think there should be a lot of uh, cooperation among the agencies okay. in setting up uh, long-term goals. Ramesh Chalathurai for joining us from the European uh, Space Operations Center. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time.